plane to take off. CNN's aviation correspondent Renee Marsh is live in Washington. Renee, what to do? What to do? That is the big question here, Chris. What to do? What to do? And big is the word of this story here because we're talking about a massive, massive cargo plane. You can see uh, a photo of what we're talking about there, some video of this Dreamlifter. It is the 747. It is used to ship cargo. Just to give you an idea as to how huge this thing is, it is capable of holding some 19 million golf balls. The wings itself on this plane, uh, it would essentially cover the total floor space of four three bedroom homes uh, with two bathrooms. So that's how big this thing is here. So the problem is this morning it landed at the wrong airport, about 10 miles away from where it was supposed to be. Uh, it was supposed to land uh, at another airport. Uh, we are told that it was the McConnell Air Force Base. This was happening late last night, but instead it landed at the Jabera Airport. Now we just pulled in some audio from the pilot uh, speaking with air traffic control at the point of when this big mix up happened. Let's take a listen. Times 4241 heavy and from you, you know which airport you're at. Well, we think we have a pretty good pulse. Times 4241 heavy, Roger, you, uh, it appears that you're at the bar. Uh, take it. Giant 4241 heavy, uh, we saw the plane on the radar and it appears that you are at Jabara Airport. Say the name of it again. Jabara. Jabara. All right, again, so you're hearing the exchange there in which it, uh, it becomes clear that this plane lands at the wrong plane, at the wrong airport. So here's the problem. The runway at the airport where it landed is just too short. It needs a much longer runway. So the problem this morning is how we're going to get this huge, massive cargo plane from this point to where it needs to be, Chris. So that is all underway as we speak, trying to figure out how to get this thing out of there. All right, so the good news is no distress, nobody was hurt, it wasn't an emergent situation. It was more of a what you're talking about, Willis, moment there between the pilots <laughs> with Jabari right. Airport. So that's good, and we'll f look forward to figuring out how they get that plane back up in the air again. All right, now we have this other incident, okay? JetBlue flight, mid flight. What happens there with this, what we're looking at right now, with one of the uh, in flight inflatable ramps? What happened? Right. So we, we heard about this uh, at first yesterday. So this JetBlue flight, we know that it left uh, Fort Myers. It was supposed to go to Boston's Logan Airport, but then uh, it didn't even make it out of the state of Florida before it had to make an emergency landing in Orlando. And it's because what you're looking at right there on the screen, that emergency slide deployed inside of the plane uh, while it was in the air. Uh, the FAA says that they are investigating to figure out what went wrong, how this could happen. Uh, we can tell you that it has happened before, so it's, mm. it's n this is not a first. However, uh, not what you want to see when you're up in the air. No, but again, nobody heard. It wasn't a right. situation where the plane became compromised. Exactly. Top theory for why it happened, what do you think? Big guy waiting for the restroom, leaning up against the wrong wall. What do you think? Top theory? I'm not stepping into that one, Chris. You're still dealing with the fact that your BlackBerry went off, and I heard it, Renee. I heard it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the reporting oh. this.